Hey guys, the Mecca here. How's it going? In this video, I want to walk you through one of the most important daily rituals that I do on a daily basis. And I believe this thing has had the biggest impact on my life out of any other um, personal development ritual I've, I've done. It's journaling. Um, you know, full disclosure, um, I, videos to me, this is a completely new new field, um, recording myself, putting myself out there. So I'm still trying to find my, my rhythm and my feel on, on um, you know, how I want these videos to go. I tried filming this yesterday and it, like, let's just say I got nothing done and the camera battery died and I was just really frustrated. So hopefully today goes a lot better, but uh, I'm just gonna try to be a bit more relaxed and um, I don't really have a script. I got a couple notes I'm gonna go on, but I just wanna share my experience with you um, on how journaling has really impacted my life, and how I started with it, why I started with it, and uh, just some of the cool highlights um, that I've been able to recognize through journaling. So I guess we can go with how I started about it. I'm a huge follower of Robin Sharma. Uh, if you don't know his work, go check him out, Robin Sharma. Um, I've been to one of his seminars. It was by far the best seminar I've been to to in my entire life it was at that seminar that I decided that I was gonna marry my wife it's um, he just has he just relates to me um, on a level that nobody else um, as far as personal development gurus does um, and he's really big on journaling and um, he was the one who kind of got me into it and um, my journals let's just see if this is the latest one yeah um, this is my journal I have Probably seven or eight of these um, journals that I've accumulated over the last 10 years or so of my life that I've been doing this. And inside it is everything and anything you can imagine. My thoughts, my ideas, my emotions. Um, it's as real and authentic me as I think you can get. Uh, my journals are the utmost importance to me. When, whenever we move, the number one thing I make sure I look after first is where are my journals and are they gonna be safe? Uh, if the house was burning down, I would run out with family outside already, I'd run out with my journals in hand. I would rather lose my entire computer than any one of my journals. The reason being is I can't go into the apps or the Apple store and go buy the journal of a Mac OSI from 2015 for any amount of money. My journals are just that, they're priceless to me. Um, so let's kind of go through in, in what's in them. Like I said, um, well, no, let's backtrack. When do I journal? Typically, I'll take, uh, I'll really, I'll jot down th th thoughts throughout the day. Uh, in the morning, you know, when I'm, um, you know, having my coffee and my toast in, in the morning, my journal's right on my desk or right on the table beside me. It's, it's always within arm's, arm's reach of where I'm at. And I'll just jot down what I want to get done to, done that day, you know, any thoughts going through my head. And it allows me to just take the clutter out of my mind and put it on paper. And for me, when it's on paper, it's just so much easier to see and understand and prioritize. It really gives me more clarity. And um, I believe Robin Sharma says it's well, clarity precedes mastery. And um, you know, whatever you're going after in life, you have to be crystal clear on it. And, and for me, writing down my thoughts and putting them into my journal allows me to do that. It gives me the clarity that I want for my life and, and for my business as well. As, as there's so much going on, I just put all my thoughts down. Um, like I opened it up right here. I have, you know, video ideas. Uh, you know, exactly what I'm doing right here. It's, it's you know, it's on my journal. And um, yeah, so clarity. So. You might be wondering if I have, um, you know, pictures or, or whatnot. I don't have any pictures in my journal. I tend to keep pictures up on my, you know, in our bedroom we have what's called a dream wall, and uh, just it's pictures and my, you know, my life plan, my business plan, things we want to do and places we want to visit. That's all up on our, 
on our dream wall in our bedroom. And we also have a dream book that will put actual pictures inside. My journal for me, I just kind of like to have words and, um, and, and whatnot inside of my journals here. Um, what else can I share with you? It's, you know, I, I put my, my, you know, the po positive times or positive things that are going on in my life. I definitely put them in my journal for sure. So, um, cause one of my favorite things to do is actually recall some of my, um, yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you. I was, I was going through this, like just before I turned the camera on and, and, uh, check this out. Uh, I recorded this last year and it's just, you know, just notes, record your daily progress, 20 minutes, record wins of the previous day, record daily insights. What have I learned? Idea without execution is delusion. I must have been watching some Robin Sharma because those are his words there. Record gratitude. Heighten my blessing every, each and every day. A problem is only a problem if you choose to see it as one. Creativity. Uh, creativity needs a space to present itself. You know, I think about that when I need to take a walk around the block or go for a run, for, for example, to really clear my head. Um, you know, thoughts are a material thing. Record life's daily progress. The coolest thing about this is I wrote that on August 25th, 2016 or 2015. The next day, my daughter was born. So it's just, it's so cool, like going back and seeing this and remembering where I was at that time of my life. You know, yeah, there's photographs and videos and whatnot, but for me, when you're, when I'm reading the actual words that I wrote down, it has a deeper meaning. Like it just, it, it connects with me on a different level than pictures or video does. I guess this is on a more personal level because, you know, my wife could read this, for example, but it won't mean the same to her as really it's going to mean to me. And that is just so cool. Speaking of my daughter being born, you know, it was, I don't have my phone with me, but I didn't have my phone with me or I didn't have my journals with me in the hospital. It was, you know, one of those things, oh, let's go to the hospital and you know how it is. So. I have my phone with me and I use an app called Evernote and uh, it just allows me to sync my phone and my computer and I take notes on it. So if I don't have my journal with me, I got my phone with me and you know, there I was, I was all in the scrubs ready to go and, and I was sitting, I don't know what the room is, but it's where the doctors scrub in, you know, like on Grey's Anatomy and um, you know, they were scrubbing in and there I was, I was on my phone and I was journaling and I was just documenting my feelings and my emotions and what was going through my, my head, how nervous I was. And I was, I was writing that all on my, on my notes. So I, so I would have that moment forever etched in my memory. And yeah, I got a video of, of, of her being born and everything, but that has a different meaning and a different feeling as when I sit back and I, I read those notes I wrote, it, it, it just, it's just different. Ho hopefully you're with, you're with me on this and it's, it's coming across the way I'm, I'm trying to get it to come across here. So forgive me if it's, if it's not, but it, it's powerful. How do you get started with journaling? Honestly, you like with most things in life, you just start. There's not a right way and there's not a wrong way of doing this. You just, yeah, pick up a pen, pick up a paper and you start writing. That's it. So for me, for example, I'm picky on my journals. Um, I use this brand, they're called Winnable, uh, like W-I-N-N-A-B-L-E winnable.com. They are Canadian. Um, they're kind of a smaller company. You find them at Staples and, and whatnot. And for me, they they are my favorite journals. I have tried a few other brands and a few other type. In fact, my wife even gave me a journal that had my name embossed on it. I think embossed is the right word, but my name was on it. And, uh, I wrote in it for like a week and I hated it. It just, it didn't open nice. It didn't feel nice. This 
for me is just the perfect feeling. Um, and so I'm picky on the type of journals I use. I'm so picky in fact that I called the company headquarters to find out if I could buy these in Mexico and I couldn't. So I had to, I actually ordered them from Canada and had them shipped all the way across the country or North America, I guess, to Mexico because I'm that picky on, I just write in my specific journals. So my parents thought I was crazy, but that's how important having the right journal for me is. So, um, so I'd say find the journal that you're most comfortable writing in. Um, I use, once again, I'm picky. I use these Zebra Zip Grip Flight Pens. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up. I just love a great pen that just gels and just is smooth. And so those are the pens I use. Luckily, they sell those in Mexico. And um, you know, you write in it. When I started, I would, I would just, you know, I'd write in the morning and I'd write, you know, what are the things I want to get done that day? You know, what are the musts that I have to get done this day to make this a great day? Um, you know, what are the things that went well the previous day? What am I grateful for? Um, I, there's a lot of different exercises that you can really do with your journaling and mine changes from, from time to time. Sometimes, yeah, I just jot down random thoughts that are going through my head. Sometimes I write down, hey, what are the five things I'm most grateful for today? if I'm writing it in it at the end of the day. You really have to find the way that works best for you because journaling is gonna be different for everybody. Um, everyone's mind works a different way and um, yeah, you just kinda, kinda have your own feel for it, so to speak. Um, I would say if you're starting, commit to it just for seven days. Seven days, commit to it, and then at the end of the seven days, reflect. Go back and read your posts. What did they mean to you? How was your life different? Were you more intentional on your day-to-day -day basis? Uh, that's one big benefit I have found by writing what I wanna get done that day is I'm more intentional on getting things done when I write them out first thing in the morning. And I guess the last thing I'll kinda leave you guys on is don't hold back. I, I write openly and honestly in my journal. And I remember, you know, back in the day when I was, I was teaching some students about journaling, one of them said to me, well, what if, what if somebody reads it? And my response to her was, who cares? You know what? If, if somebody reads my journal and they don't like what's written in my journal, well, that's really not my problem, that's their problem. That's probably something, somebody I don't really need around me. Um, so I just write openly and honestly the things that go well and the things that frustrate me and, and all of that. I don't, I don't hold back when I'm writing because I just, I want it out of my head and onto my paper to allow me to free up my mind to do other great things in life. So anyways, um, Hopefully this video gave you guys some thoughts or gave you a bit of insight on what uh, you know journaling can uh, can do for you and uh, you know how it's impacted my life. Let me know in the comments. Uh, do you journal? Do you have like a do you have a really cool method that you like doing um, on a daily basis in terms of journaling or, or whatever? Love to know in the comment section. Um, as always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Reach out to me if you have any questions and uh, let me know what, what else you guys want to hear about. Love to, uh, love to connect with you. Speak to you guys soon. Take care.